Welcome to episode number 35 with Sachin Bhandari from the Story Co. It's business and leadership stories. One all important story of the week, a real life example and marketing and communication lessons that emanate from that. What's up Sachin? How are you doing? All good, all good brother. Good to be here. Well, I tell you, you know, you're a Mumbai car, but ever since you moved to Mysore and uh, I don't know if I have to thank your wife for that. <laughs> You're now replete with stories from around the country <laughs> and especially the south of India to which you found a unique connection. And today's story has to do with Karnataka's version of the Puran Poli. That is right. That is right. What is it called? It's called Holige. Holige. Some people also call it Obattu, but uh, Holige is the more popular. Is it as delicious is my uh, question to you. Equally delicious, but it's a variety, <laughs> right? There are so many different variations. Of course, I'm sure there are lots of variations. Now, today's uh, story is titled A Pitch Lesson, Shark Tank and Bhaskar Mane Holige. Come on, let's have the story. Uh, it's a super interesting one. Uh, last season of Shark Tank, there was an interesting company which came and pitched for funds and that company was Bhaskar Mane Holige. Bhaskar Mane Holige was started by this gentleman named Bhaskar, of course, uh, who hails from uh, a small town called Kundapura in coastal Karnataka. And he uh, came from a, a low-income family, went to Bangalore to make his life, uh, you know, st was a dance teacher, which didn't work out really well for him. Uh, from being a dance teacher, then he actually started a pan bidi shop uh, wow. in Bangalore, if I'm not wrong. That didn't work for him either. And then he started selling these uh, bajias and pakoras. They call it bonda down south or at least in Karnataka. That didn't work for him either. So 12 years of his life, Rishi, he was really struggling. Uh, he was struggling to make ends meet. And then one fine day, he started a holy gay stall or a Puran Poli stall as we know it in Maharashtra. And luck changed for him when he was invited on a TV show to showcase his recipe of holy gay. And when he did that, he got a lot of interest from people. He started doing catering. People started thronging his stall. And then his mentor told him to create a brand out of it create the right kind of hygiene uh, setup and everything else and since then he's not looked back can you guess what would be the revenue of this company Rishi? Uh, crore crore and a half I mean I know that you are being generous with that but actually his revenue is 18 crores annually and his net profit is 3.6 crores. And this was when he appeared on Shark Tank last year. And after that, they've actually blown up. And I have 100% sure that it's at least a multiplier of five since then. Can we kidnap him or something? <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, <laughs> at least we'll get <laughs> eat a lot of holy gay. <laughs> no, no, I mean, we really admire Mr. Baskamane holy gay. And uh, really wonderful that he's a simple man, I believe. He speaks in broken Hindi. Kannada is the language that he is very, very familiar with. That's right. And really an underdog uh, of of the principal variety. Right. What really appeals to you about his story? And therein comes the marketing and communication lesson. Uh, that, that, that's true. And that's why I uh, chose to write about this and also share this with, uh, you know, all of our listeners. Uh, on the show, it was not just Bhaskar who came. Uh, Bhaskar has created a partnership with another gentleman called Vittal. There was one more, but we'll just talk about Bhaskar and Vittal now. Vittal, on the other hand, is, I think, from Mumbai, or at least has spent a lot of time in Mumbai. So, very conversant with the Mumbai Hindi. And he was rattling off the number of businesses he started and how uh, they are just cut copy pasting Bhaskar's uh, Karnataka model to Maharashtra and why the business will succeed, blah, blah, blah. And you could see that the shark were not really enjoying uh, talking to him or uh, you know even listening to his presentation uh, whereas when it came to Bhaskar everybody was all in into his story and that's where I think you know uh, there's an interesting insight into how you can actually pull people into your story into your pitch wonderful conflict is the key word, isn't it? Yes. If yes, there's really. conflict in your life and from that comes great dividends, from that comes great bravery because you surmount the conflict in your life. And uh, it always makes for, for great communication and storytelling. 100% <laughs> Rishi. So, uh, the simple rule, what I tell my clients is that if there is no conflict, there's no story. If you're just going to boast and say that, you know, we are really doing well, we've always done well, we'll continue to do well. People are going to think of you as a douchebag who brags all the time. 
and that's not what you want right everybody gets attracted to the underdog and it's not like we don't have conflict in our lives everybody has their own conflict of course bhaskar had the conflict of poverty and of things not working really well for him for 12 long years before he saw success and that's why anupam mittal says uh, said you know sir aapko yahan baithna chahiye aur hum log aapko salam karna chahiye sir we should you know uh, pay our respects to you for building the kind of business that you have vital on the other hand did not highlight any conflict he was just pure over confidence and that is where his pitch failed and bhaskar succeeded so i always tell my clients you know don't let your conflict become white noise and forget about all of that don't go by what you've heard in mba books and elsewhere that you know just be powerful all the time and say that you are doing the right things and you will always be successful because not all of us are interested in success stories we are interested in the underdogs story well said sachin train ceos business leaders marketing heads no matter what uh, what part of the business chain you are he has a solution for you and of course he trains groups of people too uh, and storytelling is his method win with stories his newsletter is also available on linkedin how can people reach out to you buddy uh, it's simple look for me on linkedin i am sachin bhandari sachin is easy bhandari is b h a n d a r y and uh, on my profile there is a link which says get in touch or stay in touch if you click that you can either subscribe to my newsletter or also set up a call with me if you want some personal one to one coaching or one to one programs so your organization and teams win with stories see you next week look forward to it <laughs> 94.3 radio 1